It's time for Film Guy. Of course, last night, the biggest night of the year in Hollywood. It was the Oscars. There were wins. There were snubs. Some of the biggest moments. You're going to rehash all of them. And I'm sure you were glued to the TV watching last night. I was. Night. I watched. Kurt Okerman, what have you got uh, for us? Let's go with the, uh, the best picture category. Let's go with Green Book. Uh, you know, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Green Book. I really enjoyed it, but there is a lot of controversy with it. And uh, definitely uh, for, for Dr. Shirley's family, they were very disappointed. It, um, Mahershala Ali's character is named Dr. Shirley, and the movie is written by Viggo Mortensen's character's son, Nick Valunga, in real life. So okay. the son hmm. of the real person it's based on right. wrote the script. Got it. Well, the family's saying, well, you didn't really tell us, you know, and, and you didn't ask us about him. So a lot of the information, the personal information, they've come out and said, no, that's all lies. And it's hard to watch movie afterwards when you find out half the stuff is a lie. Uh, sometimes you almost don't want to read into a film. But again, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's, based it's a movie. On, yeah, but I, it, and I also, when when people start throwing those kind of things around, a lie is evil intent. I mean, you may misstate, or you may yeah. be saying what you believe is the yeah. truth because that's what's been handed down to you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And for, you know, for example, they said he never had fried chicken before. Um, they said that's a lie. Uh, maybe because they use these audio recordings to, mm -hmm. to fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks yeah. of the story. And, and maybe the father said something like, I don't think he ever had fried chicken before. And so then we develop a drama because of that. Right. So, you know, it's, I understand both sides of the story for that. So there so. are moments in the movie that are based on the real deal and some yep. things may or may not be right, but still apparently the people who saw it, and I have not seen it, said they loved it. One person who did not love Green Book is director Spike Lee. Yeah. No, Spike did not like the film. Uh, Spike, as as most people, if they know who Spike Lee is, is well known for making these uh, racially motivated films uh, that drove his, uh, his, obviously, he's dealt with it throughout his whole life. And so he, he goes to as extreme as you can come to make his point stated. Um, and he makes these amazing movies. And uh, obviously, he finally got his first Oscar movie with, uh, with Black Klansman. But uh, yeah, he did not like the movie. Because, and, and in the words of one critic, it, it was almost like a Hallmark version of what a Spike Lee movie would do. Uh. It, it kind of sugarcoats it a little bit. And I understand both sides of it. You know, Spike likes to go as extreme as possible um, and uh, show it almost the scary side of it to make his point. So for this instance, he won best adapted screenplay for Black Klansman. And I loved Black Klansman. I it, really it, want to see that. It really tells an amazing story. Okay. And um, an you, you see here, it, it talks about the extremes of the civil rights movement in the 1960s. And this is actually based in 72. Mm -hmm. And it's, it follows these two investigators. And uh, John David Washington's character, it's Denzel's son, uh, mm -hmm. calls the KKK and says, hey, I want to be a member. And he just talks like he, he, he hates black people mm -hmm. and uh, he gets in. Well, the problem is they need a white guy to really walk in because he can't walk in. So they get uh, Adam Driver, who has an amazing performance, well-deserved Best Sporting Actor nomination for that. And uh, it's a really great film. Uh, and some people say it's a lot better in Green Book, but everybody I has to see it, opinion. and I'm happy for Spike Lee for finally yeah. bringing home an Oscar. Finally he didn't win Best it. Director, but still he, he brought Sometimes it. Sometimes you also have to watch these as they stand alone. You can't. Sometimes it's totally. apples and oranges that you're exactly. trying to, to exactly. compare. Yeah. Now, now the, one of the big things that everybody's talking about, you know, before this ever, you know, hit the stage, no host. <laughs> yeah, no the, host. They, what you think? they tried to get Kevin Hart and he wouldn't do it. But I think uh, I think it went really well because uh, we didn't have to sit through the host introducing the announcers. Uh, for example, yeah. Melissa McCarthy here, yes. who did best costume if you didn't guess that uh -huh. um, but I think they did a great job because of it kind of flowed better it still was a three hour uh, it was actually went over about 315 uh, but I think it went uh, went pretty well we probably could cut the introductions to songs nothing gets the songs we could probably just say an announcement but they were also very inspirational speeches you know talking about how this songs moved me how this song has uh, created uh, you know, a great impact on our lives. Yeah, so. there are sometimes you don't have to say anything. I yeah. mean, Queen, you just go, 
Queen, Queen and let him let him go. Let him sing. And yeah. let him play. And they didn't play very long. I thought they no, should they play a little play bit longer long. than that. Nope. That was not that was a little bit lackluster. I thought biggest surprise of the night, what did you think? Um you know, it is funny as people keep saying there's surprises, there's shocks. In my opinion, I don't think this was a surprise. Uh, she won a Golden Globe and she won a Critics Choice Award, she won the BAFTA. But a lot of people are saying Olivia Coleman's win over uh, Glenn Close yeah. uh, was a major surprise. I, you know, it's a wonderful movie, and I think that uh, she just well deserves the award. Uh, and she makes a great little uh, mention into Glenn, kind of, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I always wanted to win, but I didn't want to win like this. And Glenn's like, hey, you enjoy yourself. You, you enjoy this moment. Yeah. Which and speaks to understands. the classiness of Glenn Close, exactly, for sure. I exactly. mean, all these years. I just didn't even realize until recently that Glenn Close has never taken home an Oscar. Because no, she's such a no. staple in, you know, Seven Hollywood. nominations, never won. Yeah. Next year, she's got another big movie. Could be nomination eight. Let's hope she'll get, she'll I hope get it. So. Uh, I hope so. So she doesn't dive down deep into that category. But I thought she should have got it for her performance in Hook because so many people <laughs> don't even Hook. know it's her. I thought about talking about yeah. Hook and, the and describing box. how she always plays a male character. Yeah. And, and it's not, you know, if you don't know Glenn Close, you're like, wait a minute, she plays a lot of men. She plays almost more men than she does uh, females. So. That's funny. You, know, you do have one critique. A um, I do have a little criticism, and it's not a negative as much as I really don't know if Olivia Coleman is the lead actress. She did an amazing performance, but in in the favorite, the None film is about these three what? women, Rachel Weisz and Emma Stone, are kind of uh, they're fighting over the queen, yes. and they want to find who has favor, hence the title. The favorite. And I almost feel that uh, Emma and Rachel are more of the leads because sometimes we don't hardly see Olivia Coleman, mm -hmm. and and so it's it's hard to understand how sometimes they pick. Okay, this is our best actress, when, and this is our support. Three, they're almost all supporting, is what they support. It's each exactly. Other. I almost yeah. feel like she's supporting them, and they're supporting her. Well, and we right. could so. talk all day about this, but he's going to come on a lot. Kurt, the film guy, thank you so much for Thanks sharing for being your here. thoughts Having on this. Me. Yeah, all we'll right. see you again. Coming up, a special friend is stopping by from Rescue One. Ozarks Live will be right back. Hey, Look at that, buddy. Oof. Come on.